Uh, in this video, I wanted to quickly show you how to get your own certificates installed into Nexus dashboard. So I'm sure you've been to a number of websites uh, or IT infrastructure where you open the web UI and you get this notification from your web browser that the connection is not secure, as you see in the image that I have on the screen right now. When you click on a little icon, it tells you basically, hey, we're using a self-signed certificate. Um, it's a bit misleading to say that it's not secure. It's still secure, but it's just that we don't have a verifiable, trustable certificate chain in here. And in this video, I want to show you how to correct that by, you know, acquiring and installing your own proper validated certificates in place of the self-signed certificate. So ideally, that's the, the best way forward. And here's a shot of me with a different uh, a Nexus dashboard where I already installed the certificate. And as you can see, I don't get that warning anymore. And I do get the confidence that say that, you know, your certificate is actually verified and trusted. Okay, so in order to generate the certificate signing request, we need to do a little bit of work. And unfortunately, in the current version of Nexus dashboard, we have to do that from the CLI of one of the nodes. And so what we're going to do, and I'll show you this live in the video, we're going to log into one of our nodes in the CLI with the rescue user account. We're going to create a, a little temporary work folder for us to generate some files. One of those things that we're going to generate is a private key for that Nexus dashboard that will be used as part of the request. There's uh, some other parameters that we need to format and include when we generate the CSR. And then we'll go ahead and generate that. We'll go off to an external proper, you know, well-known trusted certificate authority. We'll request our certificate and then we'll come back and we'll install that certificate in our Nexus dashboard and we'll verify that everything is working as expected. Okay, so let's kind of lay the groundwork here. We need to do a little bit of preparation. And, and what I'm gonna show you live is, the first thing that we need to do is we need to generate a private key for the Nexus dashboard system. As you can see, I've got the actual commands here in the slide. I will paste them in the description of the video as well so that you can easily copy and paste them when it comes to, when it comes time to do your own uh, CSR. Uh, then we're gonna generate that CSR. And you can see in the second command, I'm referencing a config file called san.config. That's just a text file that I created and I'll show you what that file looks like that has all the parameters necessary to generate their certificate. And then there's a third optional command that we can use just to, to verify that our CSR request file is indeed properly formatted so that when we go to the CA, there's not any problems like that. Okay, so this is what that san.config file is. It's a file that I created. So in ND, you know, I opened up VI and I created this file and I copied uh, this information in. Now, the idea here is you're not going to use my information. You're going to put in all of the, the, uh, the, ver the, the values for all of the attributes with values that fit your environment, like your location, your state, your country, the IP addresses of your environment, the DNS name as well. So this is just a sample. When I actually do the generation, I'll show you what that looks like on the live system. Okay, let's stop talking and showing slides and let's actually go into my Nexus dashboard node and we'll do all these steps live. Okay, here I am. I'm logged into one of my Nexus dashboard nodes. I use the rescue user account. If you're familiar with Nexus dashboard, you know that the rescue user account is the exact same account as the admin account that you use for the web UI, just with a different name. So the rescue user password and the admin password are exactly the same. Uh, so the first thing that I did was I made a directory, just a, a temporary working directory. I called it ND cert. You can call it whatever you want. And that's where I'm going to be doing my, my file generation. So let's move into that particular file, uh, that folder. Um, the first thing I need to do uh, according to the slides is to actually generate a private key from this particular node. Uh, and this is the particular command. So I just pasted that in. And just like anything, there is a private key. So if I look in my directory, there's my key that I will use to generate the CSR. You'll also notice that I have this file. I already filled it out. I already completed it with my details called sand config. All I did was go in and create the file and fill in that information, right? So I'll just show you what that looks like. It's just a simple text file. As you can see, uh, all I did was starting from this point on down, I entered all of the information that's specific to my environment. 
I do want to point out one thing different. This is a Nexus dashboard orchestrator system that I have, and it's a, it's a virtual ND, and it's a single node for my lab. You know, for lab purposes, I didn't de deploy three. Normally, in a production ND environment, you would always deploy at least three for high availability and sharing the work. So uh, you can see here, I entered the IP address here, and then I just commented out the, the other two. I guess I could have left them in, but there's no other IPs don't exist. And then for the DNS name, uh, if you did have three nodes, you could use a wildcard. Uh, I like to actually be more specific, so I put the actual fully qualified domain name here in this particular value. So that's a, a quick look at my SAN file. So let's go to the next step, and that's to actually generate their certificate request file using my private key and my SAN config, and then we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so this is the command that we're going to use to actually generate that. So I'll go ahead and hit return. And if you see here, we now have our CSR, our certificate signing request that we're going to use in conjunction with our certificate authority to get the proper cert installed. There is one more optional step, and I'll do it right here, is let's just kind of validate that the CSR is properly formatted so that when we get to the CA, there are no problems. And that command looks like this, so I'll go ahead and paste that in. And as you can see here, the thing that we want to see is the self-signature verify is OK. That's the, the thing that we want to see here. And this is just all the information for that particular certificate. So now let's take all of these files, uh, and we're going to use the information to actually request our certificate. Now, every certificate authority is, has a little bit of different look and feel, but generally speaking, all the information is more or less the same. So I'll show you the information that you need to copy and paste uh, into the certificate authority request fields to generate the certificate, and then you'll do it in whatever CA that you pick. Okay, uh, the first thing that I need to do is I need to copy the information from my CSR. So I just, you know, listed out the file using more, uh, and I copied this information for the CSR. Now I'm gonna take that over to my certificate authority and paste it in. Okay, and here's my certificate authority UI, and here's the CSR area where I'll just go ahead and paste that information in. And you can see it does some sanity checking to make sure that everything is properly formatted. Down here, I need to give it some uh, subject alternative names. I'm just gonna pick my fully qualified domain name, type it in here, and it will do a, a check on that as well. Everything's validated. Uh, my lifetime, you'll pick whatever is appropriate for you. And then there's this notification group. This is something unique to Cisco, so uh, I'm not gonna show you that part. This is just a, an internal Cisco CA that I'm using. Okay, uh, what I've done is I've generated my certificates and I've downloaded the, the three files from my certificate authority that I'm going to use that data to actually build and install the proper certificate in Nexus dashboard. So where do I do that? So now we're back in the GUI, we're not on the CLI anymore, uh, but we will need to copy and paste some things from those certificate related files that we got from the CA. So I'm in the admin security tab under security uh, configuration. I'm gonna click on this little pencil and I'm gonna scroll down, scroll down, and it's gonna ask me for some information. The first one is the key. What's the key? Well, it's our private key. Let's go and grab that. So uh, I'm back in the CLI of my node and I just you know, uh, listed out the details of the key. So I'll go ahead and uh, copy this and then I will paste it into that field. So let's do that first. So that's our private key. We'll paste it there. Done. The next one is is the certificate uh, itself. So we're going to go ahead and uh, paste uh, the certificate there. So let's go back to our CLI. I downloaded it to my local machine here. So this is the certificate that uh, is generated for this particular host. So let's go ahead and grab the details from there. And we will copy and paste them into Nexus dashboard. We'll clear the old contents and we'll paste the new contents into the RSA. Now it's asking us for the root certificate. So let's clear that, get the root certificate information, which if I go here, the root certificate is this one. So I'll go ahead and copy that information. We'll paste that information here into the root certificate. Now, many times you have what's called an intermediate certificate. And in my case, I actually do. So what would I put in that particular field? Well, I need to go back to my file. This is the details of the intermediate certificate that's necessary for my chain to be complete. So I'll go ahead and copy that information. 
We'll put that into the certificate field here and we'll go ahead and click save. Now you'll notice that you might get an alert here that it's going to restart the server and you're going to have to refresh the browser. Of course we are because we're going to be using the, uh, the capabilities of the new valid certificate. So we can go ahead and click confirm. After I click confirm, what I will do is I will force refresh my particular browser here and we will double check that the certificate is actually being used. So let's go back here. You can see here that the connection is secure and now I'm verified. See, that's all I had to do. That was actually pretty simple and you can follow my steps and get certificates uh, properly installed in your own Nexus dashboard cluster. Thank you very much.